would be very glad to know that I've glued my uh, camera mount and it's uh, not fell apart just yet. Right, so fitted the cockpit floor, fitted the receiver, plugged in the um, servos to the relative places, going from my marks. Now I have to say, I put K5 in. And I rubbed it down. I rubbed it down so it will fit. Obviously the weakest parts is where it joins into the formers. I get that. I understand that. But this is so damn weak. There's nothing on here that isn't going to break. I've got to that point. What's going to break next? Um, I don't know. Just everything's so weak on it. Obviously when it's all built it'll have more strength yeah i get that and i accept it but everything you touch breaks and i'm not entirely sure that enough thought has been put into this design where you know you, you, you've got to be able to handle it um maybe it's just me getting frustrated with it i don't know but anyway that's that's where we got to so K5 is in, these are in, it's all been sanded down, receivers in, the servos are in, obviously we've got to put the control rods in next. Um, I also decided to change the motor, I'm going to put a different motor in and I will, uh, if I remember anyway, I'll put a link in to where you can get this motor. I actually I found, I found two suppliers, one was on Amazon which means I can get it in the, by, well, today's Friday. I can get it by Monday, Monday evening. Uh, the other ones come from China and I won't get them until, well, now it's November. So uh, I won't get them till probably won't even get them before Christmas. And I don't want to wait. So I've, I've gone through Amazon. Um, the motor, for your information, is a... 2011 dash uh, 2080 KV so it's a 2080 KV motor brushless motor and the one that they were using for this model at the vintage model co was a tourniquet which is T U N turn G I Y I think tourniquet they don't make them anymore it's an obsolete motor but you can get the motor but it's just not made by tourniquet uh, so when you go into Amazon if you want to get it fairly easily um, it's just going to 2011 dash uh 2080 kv brushless motor and it should come almost straight up i think it's 18 pounds they used to be a lot cheaper than that but i guess they're getting a bit rare or something i don't know but anyway i'm going to change the motor mainly because the motor that i was going to put in is for a drone now the thing is that's okay you can still use it in other models but they spin faster, the torque is a lot higher. Um, plus the fact I, I couldn't find the correct proper adapter to make it come all the way through F1. So I decided to go retro if you like and try and find the motor that will fit that is the nearest to the description that is being used. That's a bit cowardly probably, but uh, yeah. That's what I've decided to do. Um, you'll notice on the drawing here, when you get to look at your drawing, that this motor is slightly tilted down, probably about four degrees, no more than that. Well, guess what, guess what arrived today? Yes, the motor. The motor turned up a day early, on a Sunday, no less. And I saved myself one or two pounds because I did buy it through Amazon. So for as long as you do not 
pay for the postage and for as long as you do not uh, pay for their prime whatever it is and just go deliver it through a courier whatever it is I'll pick it up you get it a lot cheaper so I think I paid actually about £24 for this which to be honest is probably more than what it's worth but it's the correct motor now I did get something wrong earlier on and that was um, that this is a two that a two God, get it right a 2030 kV so it's a 2030 kV motor I said earlier it was a 2080 it's not it's a 2030 uh, kV but it is 211 2030 kV I don't know why I said that I think it's because I, I was spending so much time looking at motors to find the right one that that number stuck in my head for whatever reason so I've got them out on there as you can see uh, these are all plugged in and everything um, I've lost one screw I don't know where it is I'll worry about it another time uh, in the meantime I have put this hatch in, in here okay and I will be building that up presently uh, put a couple of stubs in there so it would line up properly at least that's the idea anyway which it seems to and sanded it all in uh, got the servos in now what I did do rather interestingly is I use some snakes now these are no, I'll put the packaging away somewhere um, I paid £8.50 for these snakes and piano wire the reason is I don't think that what they're proposing in the in the destructions are correct because you've got to cover this model at some point and you don't want bits of piano wire sticking out there's another reason as well even though they, I think they, they suggest a carbon rod, um, things bend and there's nothing to stop it bending on the inside while you are controlling your aircraft. So I put in uh, an extra piece here. Did you see it there? Put two holes through it and here. I don't know if you can see that all right or not. Put this one in here. You can see I put two extra holes in case it changed my mind where, it, where, I, where I wanted it to go and that stops these from flexing while you're in flight so now the piano wire goes in here well it will do when i covered it and goes into these two clamps here which you can secure later so i will then have i got them here yes i have here we go okay so this end here goes one goes on your rudder and one goes on your elevator and I don't know if you can see too well but it'll move like that and this tube the snake uh, because I've secured it will stop it from bending which is what you'll get with those rods uh, so then the other end comes out that goes into the clamp there which you then screw down and it takes all the adjustment out you ain't going to mess around trying to get the, the lengths right and all this all you do is cut it to length pop it in there screw the screw down bobs your auntie fan is your uncle and there you go so that's that dealt with that's my topical tip so as you can see I've got the motor in at last and I've checked against the drawing it all lines up so all these switches were in my groove so now I've put the speed controller or the ESC underneath I've put the battery tray in with a bit of velcro because I've, I managed to say velcro hey you know perhaps my memory's improving I don't know and um, there's my battery connection I haven't bought the battery yet perhaps I should have done yeah it's a good idea too probably mm. anyway so that's what we've got and that's what it looks like there's the aerial sticking out there which i want to stick in there and we have the esc motor controller there okay now the reason i put the hatch in is because well i'm hoping by the time i get to put the wings on we're going to have 
the elevator, not the elevator, you idiot. The aileron uh, control jack to go in there as well, which I'm hoping to pop through here somewhere. So of course I need to take that off, pop it in, and uh, finish it up. So there you go. Now I did do some more work while I was waiting for the uh, the motor to turn up. I put um, F1, N1, N2 together. They have magnets in here, which I've put in. I don't know what they're for. I don't know what they do. I don't know why you need magnets in there. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Really haven't. No idea. And then I painted the whole thing black. Now, N2A, this is N2A. They go in there and these two slot together. So there you are. And then you take your N1, which is the front radiator, and they advise you to cut out some aluminium foil, cooking foil, out the kitchen and put it underneath the radiator here and then stick the radiator on top. Now, to me, it makes almost no difference at all, though you could probably see the reflection from the light. Um, yeah, okay. Well, hmm. All right. So, now this can now be glued on to there and uh, it's quite a good fit I have to admit it holds itself on and then of course I will put this on here lining this top edge with that top edge because there's a bit of a gap at the bottom and that should be right now now I can put the stringers in that might be fun so let's see what happens next so that's what it's going to end up looking like. And that seems to fit okay. The motor seems to be in the right place. <sighs> yeah, I've ordered a propeller. I've ordered a 6x3 prop. Uh, I've ordered a, an orange one and I've ordered a black one. Um, I'll go into that later as to why I did that. But it's going to give you a little bit of a choice. I tried to get a wooden prop six with three but i couldn't find one well there you go anyway well not a decent price anyway there we are for now so where are we at um right so this is all done now as i think i mentioned earlier that all comes out i might put some magnets in there yet uh the motor's in which is a <laughs> 2011 2300 kv motor and the battery mounts in it's got some velcro on it all the electrics are in there so servos are in uh, as you can see and all the uh oh, i don't know what you call it anyway these these things here stringers okay and it's all been sanded down so what we have to do then you have to get a 1 16th bit of ply and then get one of the stringers and put a 15 mil millimeter in length stringer there using a 1 16th gap so i just got a 1 16th bit of balsa put a bit of white glue on it off it up the 16 uh, 1 16th and glued it in and did the same this side here then you take this also here which is if i find the reference no i can't because i've changed the sheet underneath anyway there's a sheet of balsa goes here because there is a battery hatch that goes in here and that's in preparation for that also um there is a doubler that goes in here and a doubler which goes in here and you have to get use uh, a piece of the undercarriage wire uh supplied to create a gap there so the undercoach can go in and then according to the destructions uh that's as far as you can go with this so now you have to start the wings which is what i'm going to be doing now uh, so i'm going to put the, the fuselage to one side and i have already started cutting out all the pieces for the top wing and I'll be starting with this top center piece here um, and then I'll just be following the uh, destructions from there 
So I'm not going to waste too much time with the video uh, showing you how I put things together because it's pretty well self-explanatory. And it'll be better after I've um, started because you're about to see what progress is made and deduce from that and how you're going to approach it. Okay, otherwise just be made chlorine ribs together, which is you know you can figure that out for yourself it's got the plan you've got the instructions and everything everything's numbered up because as you know i've marked everything so it's easy okay this is not a complicated wing so it should be okay now it is my intention to put ailerons uh on the port side and the starboard side on the top wing and also on the bottom wings and that will all come self-apparent once I've put all this together and uh, be self-explanatory uh, and it's easier to show you than to tell you. Okay.